What is up everybody, Solomon here. Super excited to be at Consensus 2024. We've got Darren Moore Jr. here with us helping to co-host these interviews. We've got the man, the myth, the legend, John Deaton, the battle for the future of the digital asset industry. John, you have been such a steward for the entire digital asset space from all of the amazing work that you did for the XRP community. Um, I know that you recently authored your book as well. Talk about what the experience has been like to battle the status quo and Elizabeth Warren uh, in the state of Massachusetts. You know, it's pretty exciting. My biggest problem right now, guys, in the race is not Elizabeth Warren. In fact, she's talking a lot about me. She's sending about nine emails about me. She named me uh, at the St. Patrick's Day breakfast, making a joke about my book of all things. So I have her attention. It's this perception that she can't be beat in Massachusetts, and she can. 41% approval rating. She took third when she ran for president. She couldn't even take second in the own state. 57% of initial readers say I have a chance. So things are looking good and uh, support people like you, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make history. So John, what are some uh, unexpected challenges that you weren't expecting that came up during your run? You know, what? It, the hardest thing, a successful campaign comes down to three things, money, message, and work ethic. She can't, she'll outraise me, she can't outwork me. She's helping make them write the message for me, to be honest with you, the message is there. So it all comes down to uh, asking for money and. If you read my book, you know it's not my strong suit to ask for help. And so that's probably been the most challenging thing. You know, I had a, a old lady give me a $50 check and say that, you know, she wished she could give more because she's on social security fixed income. I'm trying to give her her money back, to be honest with you. I'm not the best candidate in that saying, well, you know, maybe you could write, get on the phone and make calls. There's other ways to help. And she said, no, uh, I want to help. And I want to be able to say I helped bring change to the country. So what I, the biggest challenge, I didn't know I would connect with so many people. I always viewed myself a little bit of a loner and sort of do everything myself and getting to know people. I didn't realize I'd have such an emotional connection to so many people. We have so much more in common than we don't. And religion doesn't matter. Race doesn't matter. Sexual orientation doesn't matter. When you start talking to people, you realize we're all the same. And if we could just start focusing on what we agree on and not what we disagree on, we'd be a lot better. Yeah, looking at kind of the pulse of the digital asset industry, I mean, you certainly being one of the you know major players that has been you know sticking up for innovation in the United States and for believers in innovation. Have you seen a shift over the past few years? I mean, you were pretty much in it since the beginning of this fight. Yeah. Has there been a shift year to year? Are we seeing more you know more individuals that are making these decisions on Capitol Hill, thinking about like educating themselves and all the things that absolutely and you know me the 75,000 xrp holders that joined the entire xrp community we were there day one in the battle but even today the white house is talking about well we're going to work with the industry instead of crush the industry instead of ban the industry now they want to work listen guys you know this better than anyone when larry fink of blackrock the biggest asset manager in the world starts getting involved and starts talking about safe havens and tokenization of real world assets. We've arrived because the rest are gonna follow what he, what he does. A lot of people were surprised that I said that I thought an ETH spot ETF would be granted. And the reason I said it was, look at how successful the Bitcoin one was. And these Wall Streeters, if once they have something like that that is so successful, they're gonna say, well, Let's do this with ETH or let's do this with XRP or, or any other token. So I think we're here. Nobody wants to be first, but everybody wants to be second, Darren. Yeah. When, when, you, uh, when you actually win, what are some of the policies that you're going to introduce? Well, it's a great question. The first thing is term limits, right? Because look at Elizabeth Warren. 12 years ago, she was going to go hold the banking industry accountable. Who wrote her last bill, Darren? The banking industry. She couldn't beat them. She joined them. And that's what happened. So term limits is going to be the first thing. I also want to implement some transparency laws and, and enforce conflicts. If you work for Pfizer, I mean, excuse, if you are the FDA chair, you shouldn't be able to resign and then work for Pfizer on Monday, right? If you are the SEC chair, you shouldn't be able to leave and then go become on the board of Apollo Group and all these others. And so we need to create, you know, some real uh, public service initiatives where it's not about cashing in for yourself with a revolving door, but actually making about public service. So, you know. 100%. All right, John, so I've got to ask you, what are you most excited about for the future and where can we go to support your campaign? Well, thanks. Uh, I'm most excited about doing something else in my life that a lot of people think I can't do. 
Most people don't think I can win. I'm going to prove that, that I can. I'll need help. So I appreciate you asking me, Ryan. John Deaton for Senate.com. If you go there, even if it's five bucks, it'll help because if I can raise enough money to be competitive, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to shock the world and I'm going to retire Senator Warren. Well, it's been such an honor to have the opportunity to interview today, John. John Deaton for Senate.com. Go donate, contribute to an amazing cause. We've got to support innovation in the United States. John has been sticking up for the people for as long as I've known him, and I'm wow. sure much longer before that, John, it's such an honor. It's my honor, guys. Good luck with everything. It's I'm sure honor. you're going to kill it. Thanks. Thank you so much.